Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so what I had to do for this channel is create an email list. The reason why is because due to the nature of the content of this channel, I don't know when the content is going to just mysteriously disappear or this channel will be shut down. The email mail list is just for the followers or the subs so that you know where these things are just in case this mysteriously happens. So just go down to the link in the description of the video, click join email list, Put your email address in there and boom, you're good to go. That means that I can also send you other information that I cannot post here on YouTube. And you'll also know where the channel is and where the content is in the event that it does disappear. Okay, let's cook. Okay, people, so I have to say big up to the brother Walter Sniper for this one right here again. That's Walter Sniper. He has a YouTube channel. And... This story right here, it goes back to 2018. But since our people suffer from trauma-based amnesia, let's just say this happened last week. We're not gonna worry about the dates and the years. We're gonna worry about the events, you know, because when these things happen, we shouldn't forget about them just because time has passed or five, six, or eight more things or 10 more Super Bowls have happened since these events. I think we should remember them like they just happened, okay? Now, this one right here is about a 44-year-old black woman from Lafayette, Louisiana, by the name of Joanna Brooks, and she was married to a white man named Scott Brooks. So, in January of 2018, Scott Brooks took Joanna on her first cruise as a Christmas gift. So, this five-day cruise that they were going on was headed to Mexico. Now, on January 28th of 2018, while they were on this cruise, this cruise Joanna and Scott Brooks were seen arguing at dinner. Now, that argument that they were having was so intense that security had to come and escort them out of the restaurant. 30 minutes after they were seen arguing, Joanna went overboard. Boom. Right into the Gulf of Mexico. That, that's stupid, y'all. These stories are that stupid. She was arguing with her white husband. Security escorted them out. 30 minutes after, Joanna's body is in the Gulf of Mexico getting eaten by sharks. Just like that. So when the staff and the crew had heard that Joanna was missing or she went overboard or whatever they, however they were alerted, they immediately started to search for her. You know, I guess they might have been looking over the side of the boat trying to see if they could find her. The Mexican Navy also came in. They looked for Joanna. They had the whole bit, the whole jet skis, the boats, the lifesavers, etc., they were looking for Joanna. She was never found. Um, when they discovered that Joanna went overboard, the ship had stopped in the middle of the sea for at least 15 hours. A lot of people were concerned that somebody went overboard, although it stagnated their vacation, held them up. But, you know, I think that they say that the concern for her was took priority over their vacation. You know, there were rumors that she accidentally fell overboard and that she may have been taking pictures and fell overboard. And her husband, Scott, he was detained, he was questioned, yet he was never named a suspect, nor was he charged. When he returned home from this cruise, he did not reach out to Joanna's family. Now, I don't know the extent of the relations since then. This was in 2018. This is some years later. I don't know if he finally called them. They started to bust it up and talk and discuss things. I have no idea, but that's not a good look if the first people that you don't go see is her family, you know, but he didn't do that. Um, Joanna's family has received very little information in reference to what happened. They have a family attorney and their family attorney is having a hard time getting information from the Carnival Cruise Line. The FBI is involved, but they are also, too, very ineffective. Now, the FBI New Orleans office released a statement at one point and said, as a matter of respect to the family of Joanna Brooks, we are unable to provide any comments at this time. Just like that, y'all. It's that simple. She went on a cruise with her white husband. They got into an intense argument. They were escorted by security. 30 minutes later, she's in the ocean getting eaten by sharks. Because you know that's what had to happen. They never recovered anything. I mean, come on. They had the Navy out there. The Navy would have found a body. You know, um, no disrespect to the family of Joanna. But, you know, I'm just talking about the details as far as when I just said how dumb was that story. I don't mean it like 
she was dumb or the family's dumb. I'm just saying, look at how this stuff just happens like that, that, and it's over. You know, people get in the comments. Do we need the FBI to figure this case out? Do we need the FBI to figure this case out, people? Get in the comments. It's very easy to do and get away with if there's no camera, no witnesses, nothing happened. We talking sharks out there. No camera, no witnesses. His word against whoever's. I didn't do nothing. She fell. You know what I mean? And and that's that that had to be what happened. The, the, the sharks just got rid of her body. They ate her or whatever. And um, nobody's seen what happened. Nobody's seen what he did. But I don't think Joanna on her first cruise, I don't think she was really being risky getting close to the edge and pulling out cameras. I think on her first cruise, she was staying away from the edge because she was probably still in awe with being out there and like probably still scared or whatever. Like, wow, look at all this water. I don't think she was somebody who want to, you know, go ahead and Snapchat it up, standing on a rail with one arm and all that, or flipping upside down just to show people. I don't think she had the, had the heart to do that, you know? I, I, you know, I think he threw her overboard. That's my opinion. I think I think Scott, I think he just went ahead, he got pissed off, threw her overboard. And what's up with this dude, Scott, anyway? Like, you know, how many felonies does he have and for what? Who is he? Where does he come from? They don't know nothing about this dude. You know what I mean? What's his record? And this is what happened when when these uh when these white men get rid of black women like this. That's it. It's just over. So many cases where it's just like, okay, we're not going to go extra, you know, trying to find trying to get justice for this black woman's family. If we know something, we're not going to dig as deep. It has to be like some hardcore, blatant situation where the the details are undeniable and right there. And usually the suspect, the person who did it, being the white husband or boyfriend, is an absolute bum. You know what I mean? And then they're like, okay. But other than that, they're like, okay, that's it. It's over. You know? And we know from history, we know from history how white people have historically solved their problems worldwide. When there's a conflict, when there's a problem, they solve them pretty much like Scott. I believe Scott did right here. You know, see, you know, these white dudes here, they're not they're not used to they're not used to black women's mouth. You know what I mean? Their attitude, their emotions when they get upset, they can't relate to to a slick mouth. You know, this white dude, Scott, he doesn't have any black female cousins, a black mom, black sisters, black aunts or nothing like that to know or enough experiences, you know, to know like, OK, well, whatever, you know. A black dude, is, you know, would just be like, yo, she tripping, man. Ignore her. Walk away. Man, don't pay her no attention, man. She tripping. But him, being who he is, that's how people like Scott and others, that's how they solve their problems. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, and I'm not making it, trust me, I'm not making no excuse saying he didn't know how to handle, he probably didn't know how to handle a slick mouth, so that's why he didn't, no, 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 no. I'm saying it like that's something that you need to look out for and recognize. You know what I mean? When these people... The way they're problem solving is usually, you know, getting rid of you. We know that historically worldwide, you know, when there's conflict, you know, there's no discussion. There's no strategic or, or you know, talking to somebody sitting down like a human or whatever, whatever. We got this problem. Maybe we're going to do this, this and this. No, 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 no. That's how they handle that. So I'm not making no excuse for this dude at all. Definitely what he did. I'm just saying it's a culture thing. It's a culture thing. But yo, Joanna was on her first cruise, y'all. Get in the comments. Let you know. Let me know what you think. All right, easy.